Shock bro, Father James with uh, Father Hank here. Hey. I'm already cracking up about this podcast. Um, this monkey. <laughs> we're looking at pictures of this thing. All right, folks. Probus, probusus monkey. Look, probusus. Google this right now so you're looking at pictures. So we can all laugh together. <laughs> probusus. <laughs> this thing. All right. So here's the story behind it. Cause I, Hank, I need to know the story. Father Hank was <laughs> asking me. One of our parishioners at the end of daily mass, her name is Pat. She's awesome. She just got back from a, a trip to Malaysia, and she had all these pictures that she was showing me. And one of the pic- and she was flipping through them, and one of the pictures was she was standing next to this this creature with <laughs> with with like this crazy nose banana nose <laughs> banana nose and like it's got this gut <laughs> and she's like oh it's a monkey i was like what? that is not a monkey <laughs> that looks like what would you say like, <laughs> like bob like <laughs> yeah, bob, south side uncle. bob like this guy should have a you know a natty light in his hand <laughs> right. and then this thing was sitting up in a tree and it looked like a, a human so proboscis monkey um it, it's unique to Malaysia. Yeah, I'll say. And uh, again, you got to look at the picture of it. It's got this really goofy nose, and the thing's just hilarious. So, I wonder and, if the nose has special abilities or if it's just unfortunate. I think only the males have that long, goofy nose. Um, <laughs> look at this thing. So, anyways, um, that led me into thinking, yeah, you know, I don't know if we've done a talk on vanity and image and body image and how you look, because like this thing is hideous. <laughs> like <laughs> if I looked like that, I, I at least <laughs> I, there's gotta be some evolutionary thing with this. I mean, it's it's kinda like big too. It doesn't look like a regular monkey. Wow, look at that. Yeah. And it's got this gut too, this beer gut. Um It's kind of a nice like well at least I don't look like this monkey kind of. Yeah, I mean, we all have that going for us. Is I mean, <laughs> as rough as your body might be, um, but how much time and and it's sort of a detachment from a healthy detachment from your from your image, from your body image. Like we want to take care of our bodies; mm-hmm. they're gifts from God. We're temples of the Holy Spirit, but at the same time, uh, we don't want to like. I, I mean, I think. The pendulum is kind of swung in our society. I don't know when that happened. Like everyone works out, and right, um, big health craze. Yeah, uh, Conrad, the seminarian who was staying at Julian over the summer, he, he introduced me to this Nike training app, and it's a free app. And like basically, you can do these like twenty minute workouts like in your basement, hmm. and there's hundreds of videos, and like you're doing this ab core workout and jogging in place. So. It, like there's so much just catered now to exercise and and uh, there was that huge gym that opened up a couple of years ago on on Tui Avenue in Park Ridge FFC. Mm. We went to Rosemont Health and Fitness right. before yeah. it, it shut it's down. It's so yeah, it's just uh, there's just an obsession. It seems yeah. like I think it's also fueled by a lot of the social media. Right, <laughs> everyone's posting things about themselves, so they you have to take a selfie and. God forbid you look like awful in a selfie. I don't even, you know, there's even the correct yeah. way to do a selfie. So that kind of heightens people's oh, really? self What's the correct way to do a selfie? It's all about angle and position and something about your duck face. I don't know. Okay. So I feel like we can learn from the proboscis monkey. <laughs> this, <laughs> yeah. this guy is just fine with how he looks. He he's don't get, care. Yeah, he's just cool eating a banana and drinking a Coors Light up in the tree. (laughs) (laughs) This this giant nose. Um, And yet, like, I was always kind of on your case when you were a seminarian back in the day about working out with me, right? There is something to exercise and not letting yourself go. Not that you let yourself go, but... But in in terms of, like, engaging that other part of you that, um, for the physical part, it kind of alerts your brain in a different way, gets some... um, Hormones going and some good. Uh, yeah, wasn't that your main goal? Adrenaline and stuff to uh, to jog more. Remember that? Yeah, we had jog our main more. Goals? Yeah, and I, I did. I did do some successive one mile jogs. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just another good way to challenge yourself, and we as humans always rise to challenges. So it's good to have little healthy goals and 
you feel better about yourself. But yeah, I mean, you see some people out there with all the different jogging equipment or the biking equipment and you think, oh my gosh, I should, I shouldn't even try. It's like, no, just do your own humble. Yeah, goal. stay, stay fit, eat, eat healthy. But it doesn't mean like you can't. We're not cake opposed to drinking, <laughs> <laughs> birthday cake, moon pies. Um, yeah, that was one thing I got on my thirty day, just a better sense of. Um, exercising and eating in moderation you know father hank can attest to this like i'm kind of extreme like i'll fast right for Mm -hmm. 24 hours i won't eat a thing um but then i'll crush like a whole lasagna yeah or like half melnati's right i'll be able to put away a lot of food um but there's something about just saying like all right i'm gonna have a little bit and enjoy it like savor the meal maybe even eat and be a little hungry afterwards and but eat more frequently throughout the day and just not be so attached to the food or you know like because at the end of my 24-hour fast i'm like starving right right you'd eat anything yeah Yeah. i've eaten some weird breakfast (laughs) foods i was just telling these guys how i ate that duck egg that conrad the filipino (laughs) gave me i feel like eating, (laughs) eating is disgusting it was a salty like egg with like an aborted Un- you know chicken unhatched. fetus yeah. in it and yeah. i i can mm. eat most anything and i almost mm-hmm. puked over over that dog and egg. you know kind of bouncing off that this might be an interesting segue but instead of you know find foods that if you're going to go moderation style but you know go to the grocery store and find really fresh foods or healthy foods but you know put it together in a really presentable way that way it's you're not just eating like a bunch of lunchables or something but you know a substantial sandwich yeah. So things have like, I think we're kind of reopening, God willing, with COVID. And we're not in the shelter in place in May where, you know, people couldn't leave the house or everything was closed. So like we have a chance. Weather's still decent out. Like maybe the gyms have reopened a little bit. So how are we doing with like our body image? I don't think we want to go all the way back to what it was like before COVID. Mm-hmm. At least I don't. Like, But there is something nice. I think maybe people found of just, hey, I'm just in my sweats most of the day and I don't. Yeah. I don't know if for women there was less, you know, priming and propping beforehand, right. if that was kind of a relief to not yeah, have to worry right. about that all the time. Yeah, you don't have to worry about being jacked either. Like, you can just be, you can just be simply toned, you simply know? Simply toned. Yeah. Instead of a six-pack, you know, four-pack is fine, right? <laughs> You're right. Job done. <laughs> six-pack of beer, more like it. But, um, but, yeah, just that balance. Like, okay, I'm healthy, eating simply, and um, kind of... Focusing more of my energy on, on things that are more important, like my, my prayer life and, and relationships. Amen. Yeah, because the proboscis monkey is just living the dream, hanging out mm. with guys, and he's got that belly, and he's just cool with life. So <laughs> I'd like to meet one of those one day. Maybe we'll do a trip down to Malaysia. Throw a can of beer at you. <laughs> God bless. Peace.